Cyprus used to be an island with elephants and hippos in the past, ruled by many different empires until in 1974 the country was divided into the northern and southern part. In 2004 the Republic of Cyprus joined the European Union and today Cyprus is an island with cats. <laughs> no jokes aside, but she's here right now. <laughs> I remember in 2019 I moved to Cyprus and it was really one of the best feelings because I grew up in Germany, I lived in Switzerland and Bali for multiple months but Cyprus is really one of the most idyllic countries I've ever been to. In fact I enjoy it so much that I'm making YouTube videos explaining how other people can move here too and well people do it. I helped well over 500 people directly move to Cyprus and so many more are watching the videos. I'm just walking down the streets here in Paphos, people come to me and they tell me they watch the videos and move to Cyprus because of me. But is this really a good thing? Hey everybody, it's Rico Go and in this video I will talk about how Cyprus could change forever. In 2019 we had a small community of expats here on the island and it slowly but steadily grew. I saw how more and more people wanted to move to Cyprus from all over the world. Germany, Sweden, UK, US, even Australia or Canada. Then I saw big YouTubers with millions of subscribers came to the island and I was so happy about it. Then I saw huge companies moving their headquarters to Cyprus bringing a lot of employees and building crazy buildings. Then I saw the skyline of Limassol getting bigger and higher and skyscrapers are shooting from the ground like mushrooms in a forest. Huge luxurious buildings, many 5 star hotels, more supercars, more this, more that and especially more money. I remember in the beginning when I moved to Cyprus it was so rare to see a supercar here, maybe once every few days but now at the marina in Limassol it's like you see a Ferrari everywhere, like everyone has it and it's almost like weird if you don't have one. And something that is under the radar for most people is that they are currently building the biggest casino of the Mediterranean region here in Cyprus and it opens very very soon. I go all in red. With all that I want to say that there is currently so much attention and money flowing into Cyprus like never before and I love it. But there is just one thing that is worrying me a tiny little bit and that is the people that don't have much money. The gap between the rich and the poor. It becomes greater and greater. In fact let's do a quick google research. Let's research minimum wage Cyprus. It's 940 euros. Okay, now let's look up average living costs in Cyprus. Okay, interesting, 1000 euros. So you're telling me they are building a half a billion euro casino here while at the same time the people that actually build it and the people that will serve the food and cafe here they are living on minus 60 euro per month? Seems odd, but well the house always wins. It's black. But okay, maybe I'm missing something here. I mean I'm not affected by this directly. So we definitely need to ask the locals first and I will surely do it. So definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel and see the updates in future videos. The reasons for those crazy price increases are one, the inflation, two, that the prolonged health crisis showed people that they can actually work from home and so people started to move to other countries. And since Cyprus is undoubtedly one of the most beautiful countries in Europe, many many people moved here within the last few months and years. And obviously also free, the Russia-Ukraine war. Many Ukrainians, Belarusians and Russians moved to Cyprus within the last months and all of them obviously want to sleep somewhere. But they don't want to sleep in hotels because they are planning to stay here long term, at least some of them. And since most of them can't simply go back to their home country, they will rent anything that is on the market and that is making the rental prices go crazy. Real estate prices doubled since I first mentioned that they are a great opportunity here on the channel in 2020. I used to pay 1000 euros for a modern furnished three bedroom apartment in central Limassol. Now I'm paying 1000 euros for a two bedroom apartment here in Paphos which used to be 50% cheaper just two years ago. Also the Limassol infrastructure is not laid out for so many people and cars. It's not fun driving in Limassol anymore with a car because there are such big traffic jams especially during rush hour. An apartment viewing in Cyprus used to be like this. Hey this is the property, do you like it or not? I can also give you new furniture and even make a discount if you take it. Now it's literally like this. 
either you take it or the next one will take it. And as there's no real law to at least somewhat limit the annual price increases of the rent, any landlord can decide whatever price he wants for his property. A friend of mine bought a house here in Katopafos for 120,000 euros about 3 years ago and now with the latest evaluation this house is worth at least 350,000 euros and he could sell this property so easily tomorrow. This makes undoubtedly the life of the locals with their local salary much much harder day by day. Luckily the locals are very family oriented and that means that surely everyone will have a place to sleep. Because also the locals they most of the time own the properties, they don't rent it. But in Central Europe it's very common that a person leaves the parents house with like 20 maybe 21 years old but here in Cyprus this is almost impossible because most of the teenagers they will stay in the parents home until they will find a partner so they can then move together and share and pay the rent. Most of the local young people here in Cyprus they wouldn't be able to pay those high rent prices anymore. But okay enough let's be more positive. I really hope that the future of Cyprus is big, bright, beautiful, utopian and everything we want. But let's make sure that we don't sacrifice the lives of the low and middle class for that. If something has momentum, it has momentum and it seems like Cyprus is growing very fast with all the attention and money that flows into Cyprus and Cyprus definitely could change forever. And we can proactively make sure it has a positive momentum. If rich people and businessmen come to Cyprus because they want to enjoy some benefits, drive supercars or chill in their yachts, that's fine for me. Actually I did kinda the same but I'm not rich. But when suddenly thousands of people want to move to Cyprus the supply and demand just is unhealthy and out of balance. And we need to be conscious about it because we could run into problems later on. Maybe not now but in the near future. And I'm not here pointing with the fingers at other people because when I'm doing that actually three fingers are pointing to me. So I'm not saying this is bad or this is good. I'm just aware that Cyprus is changing and I enjoy watching this change in real time. I'm trying my best to bend the change into the right direction with my videos because with more attention and power comes responsibility as well as regulation. Same as Monaco started as a rock and Dubai started as a desert I would not be surprised if Cyprus makes a similar change in the next few years. Actually I'm positive that Cyprus could become one of the most important hotspots in the European Union. I'm definitely ready and excited for it so definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel to join the journey.